Hi, I'm JP Lam, and in this episode of Naruhodo, we're going to learn about traditional Japanese amulets or charms, omamori. Omamori are believed to provide various forms of luck and protection, and are commonly sold at Shinto shrines or Buddhist temples. So today, I've come here to Kotohira Jinsha to find out more. Let's go inside. Well, Bob, thanks so much for meeting with us today. Yoroshikunishimasu. Yeah, thank you for coming today. So for the viewers at home who might not be familiar, what exactly are omamori and what are they used for? Omamori are amulets or charms, and they're used for protection and for different aspects in your life. And where does the tradition of omamori come from? It comes from the religion Shintoism that is based in nature. We take the different aspects in nature and place them with the amulets and charms, so it's very available to everyone to take. And are there different kinds of omamori? Yes, there are, and they're for all different aspects of your life. It's health, it's for safety, it's for, for protection. Of course, you have protection in your car, you have protection while traveling, luck, maybe when you're going to Vegas and gambling, things of that nature. And what kinds of omamori do you have here at Kotohida Jinsha? We have uh, different types of omamori, of course, but one of them that is very popular is for your car. You know, everyone drives, everyone has a car, and we have different types for that. We have for health. In Hawaii, the kukui nut is used for health. So we do have an omamori for that, and within the omamori, we do have a kukui nut. And the more fun one is the one for golf. We have a lot of golfers, we're not saying it's going to shave any strokes off your game, but it gives you luck and it gives you uh, protection while you're golfing. And is it believed that omamori actually contain luck or power within themselves, or is it just more of a symbolism of faith? It's more than symbolic. It's actually each omamori is being blessed by the reverend. We do that in December. You have the kami that are looking upon it and giving you the positive energies. Well, thanks so much for your time today and teaching us about Omamori. Arigato gozaimashita. Arigato gozaimashita. Well, thanks so much for watching this episode of Naruhodo. I hope you learned something new about Omamori. Until next time, I'm JP Lam.